Hello, I'm on to the 30th of January, and I really enjoyed uh, attending the launch of Bishop Jill's new book last night, Lighting the Beacons. I'm looking forward to reading it, using it, and quite probably sharing bits of it with you all. Our opening sentence for today. Awaken us, Lord, to your love, your light, and your leading. Amen. Our readings today are from Hosea chapter 9 and Psalm 57. A few days ago, I spent a most enjoyable time playing Crazy Pool with two friends. What's Crazy Pool, you're asking yourself? Think Crazy Golf, but played on a pool table. It might be smaller scales, but importantly, it's played indoors which is a big plus point during the winter. As with Crazy Golf, you can see most of the obstacles clearly. Not that that is necessarily an advantage. Certainly, it didn't make a lot of difference to our abilities to get a ball into a hole. I can, however, remember a time when there was an obstacle course which I saw, but it wasn't possible to see it. It was a water maze at Hever Castle. The aim of that maze is to get to the centre, something which can un but get to the centre dry, and that is something which can only be done if the correct route choices are made at every opportunity. Take a wrong option and you're caught in a spirit of water and soaked. In today's reading from Hosea, we have yet another detailed catalogue of the wrongdoing of God's people. However, also contained in this chapter is comment about the treatment of the prophets and God's watchmen. The summary of the people's attitude towards them is that the prophets are fools and God's messengers mad. This was all part of the attempt to discredit them. There is also mention about the snares and traps which await in an attempt to catch them out or to put them off their task. I suspect that these weren't the equivalent of the benign obstacles found on our crazy pool table. They were probably much more like booby traps. We have no indication whether these are physical or verbal traps, or who was involved with them. But what we do know is that they aren't accidental. These are deliberately set to oppose God's word and the people that God wants to do his work. This leads us to our next prayer. Sovereign God, the defence of all who trust in you and the strength of all who suffer, look in mercy on all who are afflicted and oppressed and deliver them through the might of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our prayer points for today. Let's continue to pray about the need for integrity in all areas of public life. Pray about the use of finance, right down from government level to individuals. And to pray about people worried about job security. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. I hope that you all enjoy the rest of today and our blessing.
the Almighty God keep you and protect you from all evil. The Christ of the cross deliver you from all darkness. The Holy Spirit guide you in all goodness. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you forevermore. Amen.